to the Mayor's Update for June 2015. I'm Eric Hicks with the City of Everett. Each month we take some time with Mayor Ray Stephenson to talk about the issues and projects that matter to you. Welcome, Mayor. Thank you. Welcome to the program. Megan's off uh, on maternity leave and uh, we wish her well, uh, she and her family. So, but it's great to have you here. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, I, it's nice being a guest host. Thank you yeah. for having me. Absolutely. Uh, Mayor, first I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about the 2015 legislative uh, session. Mm -hmm. um, any updates um, with how the legislature is doing? Well, this is now our second special session, and I know uh, a lot of us uh, citizens in Washington are wondering what's going on down there. Uh, there's a new revenue forecast out that shows about $400 million more than they originally planned for, so I think that'll help relieve some of the uh, requests that uh, they're debating and talking about. There's a few things that are very important to the city and to the county, so let me mention those. Uh, one is uh, our higher education request. We have a capital request to build the first significant Washington State University building uh, on the Everett Community College campus. Actually, it's a corner of Broadway and Tower on the shopping center side. Uh, they're ready to start in July, but they need authority, so the legislature is going to have to act this month. And uh, hopefully, if you're viewing this program at the end of June, we, we have good news by now. Uh, but we want to start that program in July. Uh, there will be three new degree offerings through University Center, sponsored by WSU. So I think uh, our commitment to provide quality education for our citizens to get those family wage jobs and meet industry demand, uh, that obligation and commitment is is uh, just within reach for us uh, to extend uh, our commitment. The other thing that's equally important is a transportation uh, budget. We requested a billion dollars for Snohomish County. We pared that down from a list of needs of three billion. Uh, currently, the legislature is. Uh, debating about 570 million for Snohomish County. The good news is if we're successful in getting that transportation budget passed, most of the Everett projects uh, are included in that 570 million. So I'll give you a few examples in improvement, a new interchange at Hardison Road and the Boeing Freeway, a hard running shoulder between Everett and Marysville, which will relieve that congestion that occurs in Everett a freight mobility project that will relieve congestion from the waterfront to I-5. So, some real important projects for us in terms of, of uh, relieving congestion and in, improving our quality of life. So we're uh, uh, anxiously watching and waiting. Uh, you know, the critical part of this too, Eric, is, you know, it's not unlike Congress. If we don't have a, a budget by the middle of June, uh, the state has to start preparing for closing down or shutting down some parts of state government. So it's important that the legislature act and uh, act promptly. And uh, we'll continue to encourage them and be in communication with them and uh, answer any questions that they have. Great. Um, thank you for the update on that. You um, bet. Do you have any advice for legislators as they're doing their work? <laughs> Well, you know, I, we have really good legislators uh, in Everett and Snohomish County, and we're fortunate. And, uh, you know, I, I realize with as many legislators as there, as there are uh, statewide, um, it's really going to de be dependent on the leadership of the legislature to make these decisions, to make compromises, to bring something that all sides can live with. And so, I just would encourage them to stay focused on the task. Uh, the things that we're talking about are really big ticket issues that are important to our quality of life and our future. So uh, we just ask for their uh, uh, support and we'll help them answer any questions that we can. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Um, I'd like to spend some time uh, talking about our budget. Mm -hmm. Um, it's only June, but uh, we're already starting the budget process for 2016. Correct. And uh, can you talk a little bit about how that process is going to work and uh, what kind of issues we'll be talking about with the City Council and with sure. the community? 
Well, as, as always, uh, there's always a challenge to ensure that revenue meets the expense needs of the city. Uh, we, we are obligated to provide service. Obviously, public safety is always our highest priority, so we want to ensure that we're uh, sufficiently budgeting and staffing to that level. Uh, last year, we were delayed by really a half a year why we went through the uh, strategic budget process and uh, really didn't have definitive word about revenue until about mid-year. So that helped us in preparing the 2015 budget. We are now uh, paying our pension obligations. We're building our capital improvement program uh, funding back. I suspect in 2016 that we'll continue to do that. I think there'll be more opportunity for the administration and council to talk about some capital improvement programs that uh, have been on our wish list to do, and hopefully we can move some of those forward. We f give you a couple examples. Uh, we have engineered and are ready to move forward on some improvements to Rucker Avenue, not unlike what we did on Hoyt Avenue, uh, that would really make the whole pedestrian feel of our downtown more a, a reality. So that's certainly something we continue to provide uh, money for J uh, Henry M. Jackson Park in the Delta neighborhood. We want to continue to support that. Uh, we have a number of parks where we're, we want to make some improvements. Uh, so we're hopeful we can do that. Uh, South Everett Library expansion has been on that list for some time. So. Hopefully with this improving economy, we can start having some uh, discussions in earnest about uh, when and how to move forward uh, on those uh, projects. Uh, as it relates to just ongoing operations, you know, uh, healthcare cost uh, for a city like Everett is always important. We uh, are looking at new ways of providing healthcare so I suspect we'll have an ongoing debate about that in the coming months and years. That, um, I think that we won't see the effect of that for a few years from a budget perspective. But, you know, really, Eric, the budget process never stops. But um, I think we've got an opportunity with some improving revenue to make some uh, investments that we haven't been able to through the recession. So I'm more optimistic than you know, unemployment's low. Uh, we're seeing housing prices uh, rebound. So I think there's some really good signs in the economy. Great, great to hear. Um, last year, around this time, we were wrapping up the structural deficit work. Yes. Um, that's work we took on last spring. And uh, we were looking at some in-depth studies of our larger departments. Great. Um, we've seen some positive outcomes, um, but can you talk a little bit about what we've accomplished so far and uh, what we'll do with those reviews to improve our, our operations. We started really with the largest departments. Uh, fire department study is currently going on. We have led a contract to do an analysis, secondly, of the police department. We've done a preliminary review, not a really in-depth review of our transit uh, department. And we'll continue that process in the coming months and years. I mean, the, the idea here is, to look for efficiencies, to ask ourselves, can we continue to provide a high level of service by being more efficient in restructuring and you know all the things that good organizations do on an ongoing basis. So I think there's an awful lot of hard work that sort of goes on behind the scenes, um, and uh, but periodically we'll be sharing those results with the city council and with the public and sharing recommendations with them on, on how we move forward. Okay, great. Well, I'd like to end this on a fun note. Yes. And talk about upcoming events that we can look forward to um, in the city of Everett. Yes. Um, with Fisherman's Village kicking off um, Everett's uh, festival, uh, summer festival season last, last month, mm -hmm. and of course the 4th of July, um, what can we look forward to as far as events in the city of Everett? Well, Soda Culture uh, is a huge event. Uh, Cisco Morris, that everyone knows, is a huge attraction uh, at that three-day event that will come up uh, Legion Park uh, this month at the end of June, so check the website. 
It's always a great event, uh, very well attended. Our music series will start soon. Uh, we're looking at uh, Jetty Island uh, Ferry, the free ferry service to Jetty Island. We're right now looking to see if we might be able to start it a little bit, a little bit early, particularly with the uh, bri pedestrian bridge closing at Howarth Park, and that was that was unfortunate. And I know a lot of people have been upset about that, and I understand that. But we just cannot risk uh, public safety. We just when we know that we've got an issue that potentially could hurt somebody, we have to take that kind of action, and particularly as a uh, someone who's in the fire department, you know that probably better than anyone. So uh, we want to make sure that we have a lot of fun events, 4th of July, the music series, Cinema Under the Stars at Silver Lake, just a whole lot of great fun activities to do throughout the summer. And, you know, we're so dependent um, on our part of the world of, of weather and daylight hours, so we have to take advantage of good weather and you know, long days, and uh, we're just in the prime season to start that. So, should be a fun summer. I know I'll probably see you out there somewhere, and uh, and I hope to see a lot of citizens as well. This is it's going to be a great summer. Wow, that's a, that's a lot to look forward to. Um, and I know soda culture um, is very popular. Mm -hmm. And uh, parking can be quite limited. Yes. Uh, so, do we have any tips for people on how they can get to uh, around town to some of these events and festivals? There, are, uh, I would advise them, you know, before going to check the website. I know, as you drive out on Alverson, you'll see some people who are uh, citizens who let people park on their property. There's a shuttle service, I believe, from Everett Community College. We have disabled parking uh, as well in and around there. We have uh, transit service and uh, paratransit service, so there's a lot of different ways uh, to get there, or you could, you know, walk or run, I guess, as well. But uh, uh, yeah, there's, you know, parking is limited there. That's really the challenge. You know, the other thing to remember too, if last year we were facing a major uh, cleanup of Legion Park that uh, had some trees being removed and. Uh, we changed that plan, so we've got Legion Park again, and look forward to seeing everyone out there this summer. Mayor, thank you for those updates. Absolutely. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for the Mayor's Update. We hope to see you again next month.